star. And I want to make sure you get this, and I know for some of you this is review, but this needs to be added to our notes today so that we all are on the same page. So today you are going to be checking your table of contents to make sure it has all of these things, and you're going to be adding to page 13 and 14. All right, so we are doing operations with mixed numbers. Just know that this video has to be done today and your notes have to be done today. I will be checking page 13 and 14 in your notes tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean the next time I see you. So this needs to be done. If you don't get it done, it is gonna be part of your homework. So try and um, really follow along and do it here. Also, as a heads up, you can pause this video at any time if you need to pause and catch up. So we're going to jump right in. So pause when you need to. Our essential question and our title should go on page 14. Today our essential question is, what is the process for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing mixed numbers? Um, underneath if your essential you question, still um, on page to, 14, the right side of your faster. notebook, you're going to write, write that for right there instead numbers. of writing out the all the words. The first step is you're going to write each but this mixed essential number question needs as to be in on every fraction. one slide. So we want to make yes, sure we I mean write it, it as an all in right. proper fraction for every single one. If you know another trick, I'm going to be really excited to hear that on Friday. Go ahead and highlight, choose a highlight color and highlight just that number one because we're going to be doing this step four different times and I want you guys to see what step is what. The next step is follow the procedures for adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing fractions. We did this in our foldable yesterday, so you should have this really handy. If you forget a step, please refer back to this, and of course, highlight a new color. And step number three is we're going to write the answer in simplest form and convert the answer to a mixed number if needed. I would just write always a mix, or no, don't write that, all right? just simplify this, right? Mixed number if needed and exclamation point you it and make it important. You should have about three quarters so again, of your sheet left you to, and you but should I'm split that on. into fourths. We are going to do an addition example, a subtraction example, a multiplication example, and a division example. So I want to see um, your paper split into fourths. I have handouts if you'd like to just tape something in and write on that. Um, you're welcome to do that or you can do it on your own. I know some of you are ready to be a little bit more independent. It is your choice. So, um, for our addition example, we're going to have 2 and a fourth plus 1 and 7 eighths. Our first step is to write the mixed number as an improper fraction. So, we are multiplying 4 times 2 and then adding 1 to get 9 fourths, and 8 times 1 and then adding 7 to get 15 eighths. See how that highlight is coming back into play. Second, we need a common denominator because that is one of our rules for adding fractions. So, we're going to change our common denominator to 8 and then add the numerators to get 33 eighths. I really care about you guys getting the math down. We've already written these examples in Word, so go ahead and just focus on the math. Once you have 33 eighths, go ahead and change that into a mixed number. Pause here um, and see if our answers match up. And if they do, you should get four and one eighth. And that should be highlighted your last highlight color. All right, on to subtraction. Oh, just kidding. Here's another addition problem if you want it, but I'm not going to stay here. There's the answer for it. All right, so our subtraction problem is Madison had a rope that was 8 feet long. She cut off a piece for a friend that was 5 and 3 fourths feet long. How much rope does she have left? So we're going to write the problem as 8 minus 5 and 3 fourths. And then we need to change them into improper fraction. So if you remember how to change a whole number into an improper fraction, do it. If not, here it is. It's 8 over 1. So you have 8 over 1, and then 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23, and then that's going to be over 4. So we need a common denominator, and 1 goes into 4, 4 times, so we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 4 to get 32 fourths. We're then going to do our subtraction and our highlighting. That timing didn't work too great. 32 fourths minus 23 fourths is equal to 9 fourths, and when converted back into a mixed number is 2 and a fourth. If you need to pause, now's the time because we're moving on to multiplication. Whoa, sorry, going crazy with my stuff. Uh, uh, the reciprocal of 3 over 1 is not this. It should be 1 third, so pay attention. Okay, 
So clearly I've already done my highlighting, but the very first thing we're going to do is change it into an improper fraction. All right, change your mixed number into improper fractions. You should get 21 fifths and 7 thirds. We don't need a common denominator, but we do need to keep the first fraction, change the operation, and flip the second fraction. So that's going to look like 21 fifths uh, divided by 7 thirds. It's going to be changed into 21 fifths times 3 sevenths. And that's going to equal 63 30 fifths. Again, pause here. Change it into the mixed number and see if you get it correct. I want to hear how many of you got it correct. So go ahead um, and hopefully you got one and four fifths. So those are the only examples we're adding to our notes. This should have only taken up a your spiral. Um, once you finish, all this you stuff are I'm going clicking. to ignore that and you're going to do these exit problems. You are doing these exit problems on page 13. Four exit problems. So when I see you next, I should see these four exit problems done on page 13, your notes nicely done on page 14, and your homework 1.5 completed. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, and I'm bummed I didn't get to see you. But once you finish watching this video, say hi to Miss Brott because she's awesome. Um, and she's, I'm excited she's there for you. If you can't have me, might as well have her. All right, have a wonderful day, and that is the end. By the way, the answers are going to come up after this, so pause, and then do the work. Actually, maybe I can get it to exit without that. All righty, I am going to make this happen. Bye, guys.